Okay, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, guys. <laughs> so well, guys. Welcome. Today is the last class. Okay. So yay, right? And today is Friday. So guys, uh, let's wait a couple of minutes, okay? Because it's already seven fifty-five. Okay. Let's wait a, a couple of minutes for your classmate to join, okay? So we're going to start at 8 p.m., okay? So let's wait. Okay, guys. So, well, let me show you, okay, guys, the screen for you. So, guys, let's see. This is the exam, okay? So, guys, ¿quiénes ya terminaron el examen? Tell me. Yo, teacher. Yo, okay. teacher. Okay, so I guess everybody, right? Because yesterday was the last day, right? To finish the exam. So, guys, it was, you know, a very easy exam, right? It was about topics that we have seen. So, if you see, the first one was, you know, well, some and any. Remember that yesterday we were, you know, making this one. So, for today, guys, we are going to continue, okay, finishing this one, okay? So, for the rest, so I will make sure that you know. So, guys, yesterday we were discussing about adverbs of frequency. You remember, guys? So, let's see. We have in this part of the exam, guys, this sentence. Never I play soccer on weekends. Guys, do you think this sentence is correct or not? Incorrect. Okay, incorrect. why? Why, guys? Porque el, el, el adjetivo de... de... El adverb of frequency. <laughs> ah, el adverb of frequency está en, en negativo, que es nunca juego soccer los fines de semana. Mm, ¿Es por that? No, es porque ahí va después, y tiene que ser antes. El sujeto debe ir primero. Exactly, it's for that reason. It's because the subject, in this case, I, must be at the beginning. You remember how to create a sentence, right, guys? First is the subject, then the adverb frequency, and then is the complement, right, with the verb. So this one is incorrect. Now, what about this one, guys? They usually study English at night. Correct or incorrect? Correct. Correct, exactly. Okay. So there is not anything wrong. So sometimes she, she feels very tired. Correct or incorrect? Correct. correct. Correct, exactly. Why? Because sometimes, guys, you remember, sometimes can be in the middle or at the beginning, right? So sometimes it's the only exception, right? So cool, guys. Now, we have number four. He often call her in the morning. Is this correct or incorrect? Yes, guys. Correct or incorrect? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Ya todos hicimos el examen, right, guys? So, what is this one? What do you think? Correct. Correct. Are you sure, Correct. guys? Okay. Correct. So, guys, Correct. we have here, right? He, okay, mm -hmm. the subject, other frequency, the verb, and the complement. But, guys, is there something wrong here or not? Is something missing? Yes, no. Is there something missing, guys? No. So, guys, in this case, remember that when we have, okay, the third person, remember the rules that we add S, right? We add S, okay, to the verb. So, in this case, this sentence is incorrect, right? 
Because call tiene que tener una S, right? So he often calls, okay? He often calls, okay? Her in the morning. So in this case, guys, this sentence, okay? Is incorrect. Incorrect. Now, what about this one? You listen to me hardly ever. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. So let's see, guys. So you see, that's true. You see, because hardly ever, okay, most to be here. I can get the final subject. In this case, it's for the verb, right? For the verb. So guys, tell me, do you remember the rules of the third person? ¿Se acuerdan de la regla de la tercera persona? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. so be careful about that, okay, guys? So well, guys, let's see, we are 11 here. So welcome for the ones that are joining. Today is the last day, right, guys? The last day of class, so welcome. Guys, let's see. Let's move on to this part of the exam. I want to see. So in this case, we have a WH equation, okay? If you see here, we have it. So guys, let's see, what is who in Spanish? Who? Quien? Quien. Where? When? Cuando. Cuando. Which? Why? Exactly. What? Que. Que. Okay, perfect. So, guys, here we have to choose, okay, what is the meaning of this one? We have the first one, who? So, who is for what, guys? People. Mm -hmm. For people, exactly. Why is for people? Because who is quien, right? I'm asking for a people, exactly. Now, where? What is where, guys? Place. 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 It's place. place. Because that's mm -hmm. lugar, right? It's lugar, lugar. Exactly. When? What do you think? Time. 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 Exactly. Cool. Which? What do you think, guys? Being object. Mm -hmm. Think object, guys? Are you sure? Choice. 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 Exactly. So, because which significa cual, right? Oh. Choice eh? Elección, ok. So, nosotros utilizamos which cuando estamos, ok, cuando vamos a seleccionar dos cosas. Por ejemplo, which movie do you prefer, Titanic or Avatar? Ok, which movie, cuál, ok. Choice, un escogimiento, right? Now, what must to be thing or other? Thing or right? other. Exactly. So, guys, let's see. If you see, those are the ones, right? So, perfect, guys, cool. Now, let's see, what do we have in this part, guys? So in this case, is the use of can and can't. So guys, do you remember this, right? It's very easy, right? Can or can. You remember that we made some sentences and everything? Now, guys, here we have to use just one, right? I'm very hungry. I eat everything right now. Can or can't, guys? Can. 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 Exactly. Ashita run very fast. Can or can't? Can. 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 Right. Maria, comma, you help me? Can. Can you help me? Can. can you help me? Exactly. I do my homework. It's too difficult. Can. 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 Can't. 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 Can. Exactly. Can. Can't. Remember. Perfect. A baby. Drive a car. Can't drive a car. Okay, can't or cannot, exactly. So if we see, here we have it, right? Can't, can. Cool. So, and for the last one, guys, we have this one. So this is the last part of the exam, right? So this part is using do or does, okay? So let's see, guys, if we remember this, okay? But I'm going to choose some of you because... I will, I will just make sure that you know. So, Selma, tell me, what is the first one here? Hello, teacher. Uh, that's life. Do life? That's, that's life. Um, yes, Selma? Do life? Do life? Okay, guys. So, this uh, one, remember. Do you live in a apartment? We don't say, guys, we have to pronounce it. This, this is the correct answer. It's correct. Do you live in an apartment? Nah, okay. 
But guys, remember this one. The pronunciation is not live, it's live, okay? Live. Live es live. el verbo, live, live es el sustantivo, okay? Live significa en vivo, okay? En vivo. Live es vivir, right? So, mm -hmm. do you live in an apartment? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Christopher, help me with this Hello, one. teacher. Mm -hmm. No. No, I, do, I don't. I live in a farm. I, okay. I live in a house. I live in a house. Perfect. Now, let's see, guys. Laura, help me with this one, please. Does have... Does... Okay, does it have a yard? What is a yard, guys? Es como el jardín, Exactly. El patio. El patio. El right? Exactly. Okay. Now, guys. Yes, it... Does. Does. Exactly. That sounds nice. You alone? Do you live alone? Do live. Hey. Do you live? No, I... I with my family. Don't, don't live. Mm -hmm. I no, I doesn't. I live. I doesn't. No, is no, I don't. I don't. I don't. Sadly. I don't. Yeah. That sounds nice. You any brothers or sister? Yes. Do have. Do have. Do, do you have, uh -huh. Sally, do you have yeah. any brothers or sister? Yes, I, four sisters. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do have. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Okay. Really? Your do house, have... many bedrooms? Yes. Really? Do you have, do your house? Does your house have, have many bedrooms? Okay. Mm. Now, yes, it four. Mm -hmm. the house yes, it does. It has four. Okay. So, well, this is kind of long. Okay, this is our long. Okay, Linda, you, your own bedroom. Mm -hmm. That you, you no, have. Do you, Do you have, have your own bedroom? Okay. And the last one. Yes, I. I do. I do. Okay. I do. So let's see, guys. Let's see. Mm. We got it. So perfect. Very cool, guys. Excellent. So, guys, this was all the exam. If you see, we finished it in five minutes. You see, it was not complicated, right? I hope you have finished everything, right, guys? So... Tell me, everybody has, well, everybody got a good score? Yes, no? Those two, you don't want to know the key, guys? Yes, no? A little Yo bit? Creo que sí. <laughs> you, you think so? Okay. So, guys, very cool. So, guys, let's see. Let me, okay, move on. Because for today's class, guys, we are going to check some topics that we have seen, okay? We are going to start, okay, with a listening that I have here for you, okay, guys? So in this listening, guys, if you see, you have some questions here, right? So in the listening, you will have to choose what is the correct one. So this exercise, we are going to do it all, okay? So guys, if you have a piece of paper or in your cell phone, whatever you can write, you are going to put one, two, three, and four, okay? And then you're going to write your answer, okay? When you write your answer, I'm going to give you time for you to send your answer to the WhatsApp group, okay? With your name, remember, okay? So, guys, let's see. Let's pay attention. First of all, guys, read the question, okay? Read the question. Who is Tina going to the party with? Okay. Do you know what is this question, guys? In Spanish? ¿Con quién irá la fiesta? Okay. ¿Con quién irá la fiesta, Tina? Okay. What time did Tina get home from the party? Okay. What did Tina do on Sunday? Okay, this is past, okay? What good thing happened to Tina at the school on Monday, okay? So, guys, this four question, okay, we are going to answer. Okay, let me, you know, make it um, so you can watch it better. 
I guess. Well, I guess you can see it. Okay, guys. So here we have it, right? So guys, pay attention to the listening. Okay, let's start right now. Tina, the teenager. We continue with our radio play, Tina, the teenager. Episode seven, the weekend, Friday. I can't believe Norman asked me to go to the party with him tonight. He looks so bad that the animals at the zoo are afraid of him. Josie is so lucky. She's going to the party with James. I wanted to go with Harry, but he's busy tonight. Should I go to the party alone or with Norman? I can't go alone. I'll go with him. Who knows? Maybe if I kiss a frog, he'll become a prince. The thought of kissing Norman the frog makes me feel a bit ill. Saturday. Okay, guys, you can write your answer, okay, for the first one. Write your answer, but don't send it, okay? Todavía no les envié, solo anoten, okay, sus respuestas. Now we have the second one. My head hurts. I can't remember a thing about last night. What a great party. My parents were angry about the time I got home last night. They even got me out of bed at 10.30 to talk about it. They said I got back at 11.30. That's not late, is it? What do they want me to do? Get home at 9? I'm 15 already. Okay. You can write the answer for the second one. Now let's see the third one. Sunday. Saturday was so boring. Grandma came to visit and talked all day about the time she was an actress in the theater. I was going to meet Josie later today so she could tell me what happened with James. But then Josie texted to tell me what I did on Friday night with Norman. I kissed the frog. There was no way I could meet Josie after that. So I stayed home and read a book, How to Make New Friends. Okay, you can answer number three. And now we have the last one. Monday. I can't believe what a terrible day I had at school. First, Norman smiled at me and called me princess in front of my classmates. I wanted to die. I hate him. Josie has a new friend, Lorraine, and they're not talking to me. At least I passed my English test. I had to write about the worst day of my life. It was easy. Okay. So that was all, guys. So now, guys, you have two minutes, okay, to send your answer to the WhatsApp group with your name, okay? Just two minutes. If you pass that time, okay, you have until the a okay 14 so come on guys let's send your answer please to the whatsapp group with your name okay so come on okay Okay, guys. Teacher, puedo bajar a la a la última, por favor. Uh, yes. Okay, gracias. Okay. Uh, who sent it? Remember, guys, to send with your name, please. Your name. Okay. So, come on, guys. What about the rest? Come on, guys, just one minute to send it, so come on. Okay. 
came. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's see. Okay, just one minute, guys. I'm going to stop, okay, to receive message. If you don't send it, you are not going to get this one. So, okay. Okay, got it. So, well, this one, those are the only one that sent it, okay? Nice. So no more, okay, no more pictures, okay? Neither answer, guys. Those are the last one, okay? So, uh, Joselma, uh, Ruth, okay? Then, okay, guys, so let's see. For the ones that we finish, guys, tell me, what is the first one? Who is Tina going to the party with? Harry, Norman, or James? James. 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 Yo también, teacher James. Okay. Now, what time did Tina get home from the party, guys? Yo escuché que se fue pasada las 11. Okay. Eh. That's 11. Okay. Ay, yo pensé que era la primera, teacher. At uh -huh. alpha 10. At past 10. Okay, no. Pensé. Aquí le falta la S, right? Past 10. No. So, Ay, let's see. What did Tina do on Sunday, guys? Al final dijo que le, le dio un libro algo así. Okay. And the last one. What good things happened to Tina at school on Monday, guys? No. She made a new friend, made Lauren. New friend, Lorraine. Lorraine. Okay. Lorraine. Let's see, guys. Let's see how good we got it. Okay. So you see, guys, we only got those, this one. So in this one, You're guys, not, it was... That I danced. Yo que era la última, it entendí was, que era she did. Exactly. Sorry. She did well, right, <laughs> exactly. And this one is Norma, correct, guys. So those were the answers. <laughs> so guys, tell me, how was this listening? Todas me salieron mal. Por dos. No worry, guys. So <laughs> tell me, how were this listening for you guys? Como, como estuve listening para ustedes? It was easy or not? Difficult. Difficult. I don't have my, yes. my airport. Complicado. Okay. A veces yo me he guiado por una palabra nada más, teacher. Okay. Y he pensado, entonces es esta. <laughs> okay. So, guys, okay, be careful about it, okay? My recommendation is, guys, you can listen, okay? Um, you can watch videos in English, right, with subtitles, so you will get used to the words, right? But do not worry, okay? This listening um, was, you know, in a level, okay, Está en un nivel que en el que van a entrar, ¿ok? So that's why I give it to you this one. So do not worry. Now, guys, let's see. Let's move on, guys, because I want to discuss, ¿ok? This part with you, ¿ok? So, guys, we have different, ¿ok? Times. So these times, guys, because the next module that you're going to have will be intermediate, ¿ok? You're going to enter to intermediate. So it means that you are going to see, ¿ok? These times. So, guys, let's see. We have the first one, present. This is, okay, something that we have seen. Es algo que hemos estado viendo, okay? Present. So in present, guys, you know that we use, for example, I walk to a school, okay? That's present. Tom bikes to a school. You see? School. Recuerden que okay. agregamos la S, right? I uh, will mute. Sorry, That's everybody. Wait, sorry. What did you say, Christopher? Y, y las tres reglas de los verbos, ¿verdad? Exactly, la regla, okay, del verbo, right? Recordemos, es, agregar ese, a he, she, and it, right? The third person rule, perfect. If you see, guys, this are, okay, how we create a sentence, and we have the auxiliary do and does, okay, guys, in this one. So I went to school, I dream of being, I study hard, I buy meal, I bring my book. Now, guys, we have pass, okay, pass, okay, what do we do in past? We only add ed to the verbs, right? So I walked to a school. I walked to a school, okay? Tom bikes to a school. Tom biked to school, okay? Aquí hablo en pasado, okay? In past, okay? So in past, guys, we have an auxiliary that is called did, okay? Did. 
some did. exactly we use let me write it here for you we have did right the auxiliary did and also I, for the verb to be guys we have was and we have where right this one teacher yeah. one question no question are you don't utilizaríamos el used to or will uh used to um yeah used to yeah it's part of the past um el would guys would is for questions right se utiliza para questions más que todo okay so do not worry so in the past guys what you have to matter lo que se les tiene que importar guys va a ser esto okay did y was in where right mm -hmm. so do and does guys se transforma in did okay that's something that you have to know and now guys for future what do we use in future for future guys Nosotros ocupamos will, okay? Will. So, teacher, yeah. I have a question. Sure. Uh, uh, you sería también podríamos ocupar el going to. Going to, exactly. Yeah, I was about to explain that, yeah. So, guys, in future, we have will, okay? So, teníamos I walk to school, I will walk to school. Voy a caminar a la escuela, right? Camino a la escuela, caminé a la escuela, Caminaré a la escuela. Okay, guys. So future, right? But guys, tenemos el will, right? El will va a ir antes del verbo. Pero también utilizamos, guys, el be going to. What is the going to, guys? Es lo mismo, okay? So el going to, guys, es para hablar del futuro, okay? So ustedes pueden decir, I am going to. She is going to. Uh, they are going to, okay? So okay. that's how we use it, okay? That's something general, okay? Because it's something general that I'm giving you see, right? Because I know that some of you already understand this, but in the following module, guys, you are going to see this deeper, okay? You're going to see more in detail, okay, guys? Now, let's see, guys. I have here, okay, let's see something for you. Let's see. First, we're going to start, guys, doing this test, okay? First of all, let me help you, okay, with some of them, okay? Déjenme ayudarles, chicos, con alguna de estas, okay? So let's see, guys. For past, let's see. Agarremos una, díganme una sentence aquí que está en pasado, chicos, in past. I played I was just and I drank a large bottle of water. I played football. Play okay, I, I play football, okay. Nice, ahora in present. I'm praying I play football. Which I, one? I am praying football. I am running. Okay. I am running to buy a ticket. Or a future. Future? I will ride my bike. I will be going tonight. Okay. So, tenemos estas, right, guys? Now, guys. This is the thing that you're going to do, okay? Ustedes van a buscarlas, okay? Van a ver cuál es para cuál, okay? Do not worry if you get it wrong, okay? No se preocupen, okay, si se equivocan, okay? Tratemos, okay, guys, de al menos poner en las que entendamos, okay? Because this will help you a lot, okay? Lo va a ayudar bastante para identificar, okay, los tiempos verbales. Now, guys, let me send you the link to the WhatsApp group in here on the chat box of Zoom so you can copy and start now, okay, guys? So let's see. Let's start doing this, please. Come on, guys. Okay. No se preocupen si no entienden, okay? Si no les sale mal, ustedes traten de hacerlo con lo que ustedes entienden, okay? What you understand. Do not worry, okay?
Hey guys, come on. Okay, have here the first one. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. A mí me cuesta bastante hacer lo del in y lo de at. Creo que hay como alguna regla para los lugares, ¿verdad? In y at. Uh, the preposition, you say. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, at es para algo más específico, ¿ok? Something donde mencionas más en específico donde estás. In is in general, ¿ok? Is general. Ok, that's the rule. Solo eso tienes que recordar. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, no worry. Okay, let's see. Okay, perfect. Okay, Shell, very nice guys. So, well, I, I guess everybody, okay, know about this one. So cool guys, that's very excellent that you know about this one because in the next module guys, you are going to be about this one. Okay, you're going to see <laughs> Okay, about pass. Okay, so that's cool, guys. Now let's see, guys. Um, let's uh let's move on, guys. For today class, let me stop sharing this okay. part. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Mm -hmm. eh, dice que no no me sale eh, para que me dé la nota o solamente sé que tomarle la captura. Eh, cuando terminas de hacer todas. La página te carga eh, al final, la, tu nota final. You have to es que finish como up. que se ha trabado y, y ya no baja, solo ahí ah. se quedó. Pero ya lo terminé. Lo submit, algo así creo que dice un botón abajo. Yeah, exactly. Al final, abajo de la página te sale submit. So, you only have to click yeah. on submit and you will send it. If not, you can load the page. Puedes igual recargar la página. Do not worry. So, Yes. Guys, yes. let's see, guys, because we were discussing about the times, guys. If you see here, guys, I have here some questions in present, past, and future. Okay, guys, if you see this one, some of these questions, guys, you have discussed it before, right? But now, guys, we are going to put into practice. So first of all, guys, this is the thing that we're going to do. You're going to practice with your classmate, okay? Then... I'm going to ask you guys, and the one that give me a very good answer will gain extra points, okay, guys, for the homework that you have made. So, guys, please practice with your classmate. Practiquen, okay? Y traten de traer una buena respuesta, okay? Practiquen su respuesta, okay? And cuando volvamos aquí, voy a preguntar, okay? So, guys, let's see. Uh, I'm going to open the rooms, guys, so you can accept the invitation. Okay, I will send you the questions to the WhatsApp group. So do not worry. Okay, we'll send you the picture. Uh, let's see. Okay. So you have it now, guys. So let's start doing it, please. 
Accept the invitation and let's practice. Jacqueline, if you can accept the invitation, please. Ahorita voy, teacher, solo que es que mi teléfono me está dando problema, ya ahorita. No, okay, it's okay.
Okay, welcome, the team. Okay, welcome. Welcome everybody. So well, guys, let's see, here we are. So guys, we are going, okay, to discuss this question. So let's start with Jose Roberto. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jose Roberto. Let me ask Hi. you, what do you do? Uh, is the... I no sé si podré decir de solo I I'm yeah como se dice eh, me dedico a trabajar sería como I um I do jobs or I do um, work yeah I do work uh, but what do you do, I do work. in your job what are you tell me <laughs> Class, classmate, creo que se dice vidriero. ¿Cómo? Trabajo en una vidriería. Uh, Pero vidriero es como classmate, algo así. Um, vidriero. Well, let's. Um, well, a well, glazer. Can, yeah, a glazer worker, you can say. A glazer a worker. Glazer. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, Jose Roberto, that's very interesting. Okay, very nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks. Now, Cesar. Hello, Cesar. Hello, teacher. Hi, Cesar. Let me ask you this question. Where does your family work? Here, guys, it says do. Aquí le cambié. Sorry, guys. The picture was wrong. So guys, where does your family work? Tell me. Work, donde trabaja mi... Your family, yes. Uh, yes, my, my wife works in, in a hospital. Okay, my wife works in a hospital. Okay, remember, let's say works. Yes, the, uh, I have uh, two children. Okay, to chill that way, they don't work. Okay. And what do you do, Cesar? Tell me. I, I work in a bakery. Okay, excellent. Very nice, Cesar. Thank you. Okay. Now let me ask you to Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jacqueline. Let me ask you this question. What do you usually do at weekends? I'm usually going in the beach. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Jacqueline. That's awesome. Yeah, the beach is very beautiful. Thank you. Now, let me ask you, Christopher. Hello, Christopher. Hello, teacher. Hi, Christopher. Tell me, why are you studying English? It's a passion for me. It's a passion. Okay, wow, nice. That's cool. Thank you. Now, Ruth. Hello, Ruth. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ruth. Tell me, what are your favorite activities? Okay. My favorite activities is uh, watch two movies. Okay. My favorite activity is watch movies. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Me too. I, I really like to watch movies. Perfect. Now let's see Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana. Hello, teacher. Hi, Tatiana. Let me ask you, where were you born? Um, I born. I was born. Mm -hmm. I was born. Mm -hmm. I was born in San Salvador. Okay, I was born in San Salvador. Excellent. Very nice. 
So now we have this one. Tell me. Tell me, let me ask you this question. What did you do yesterday? Um, ¿Qué hice ayer, teacher? Exactly, yeah. Okay. I am going uh, uh, my son school. I went to my son I school. Went, hmm? I went. I went to my son school in work. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my house. Okay. Excellent. Perfect. So that's cool, guys. Cool. Remember, guys, in the next module, you are going to see about paths. Okay. So it's okay if you don't know about these two questions. Okay. Because this question were in paths. So if you don't know how to use it, don't worry because in the next model, you are going to see. Now, guys, let's see. Uh, let me ask this question to Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Hello, teacher. Hi, Evelyn. Tell me, what are you going to do after the class? Que uh, aguantes de clases. No, what are you going to do after the class? ¿Qué hará después de la clase? Tell me. Okay. I am sleeping. I am going to sleep. I am going to sleep. Yeah, I am going to sleep. Okay, excellent. Very nice. Thank you, Evelyn. Now let's see Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, teacher. Hi, Michelle. Tell me, what are you going to do next weekend? Uh, the next weekend, I will visit my grandparents. Okay. Excellent. Very nice. And let's see the last question. Let's see who hasn't participated. Uh, Selma. Hello, Selma. Hello, teacher. Hi, Selma. Tell me, what will you do tomorrow? Uh, uh, tomorrow will work. I will work. Okay. Excellent. On Saturday. Perfect. So, guys, let's see. Did you understand this question, guys? And todos entendimos estas preguntas? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, that's excellent, guys. Okay. Yeah. He went is ir al ir en tiempo pasado. Exactly. Tenemos go, que es en presente, y went, y past. Okay, excellent. Okay. You're welcome. So, guys, let's see. If you understood this question, guys, entendieron esas preguntas, significa que van en buen camino, okay? Because this, okay, these are real questions, okay, that you're going to face day per day. Now, guys, let's see. Let's make you know a little activity, okay, about what we have seen. So, guys, let me ask you this question. Where are they in this picture? Where are they, guys? Tell me. <clears throat> yeah. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. They are in the bathroom. The bathroom. They are in the bathroom. Okay. Bedroom or bathroom, guys? No, no, bathroom. 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 Exactly. The bathroom. Cool. Now, no, guys, <laughs> yeah, this one. Where are they? They're in the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Now, where is he, guys? He's in the bar. He's in the bathroom. Yes. The bathroom. Yes. In the bathroom. Yes. Where is he, guys? He's in, he's, in the in the he's in the kitchen. 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 Now, where is she, guys? She's in the bedroom. She's in the bedroom. The bedroom. Now, guys, where is he? He's in the living room. Living room, living room. Yes. exactly. So the last one I did I didn't see guys. Sorry, I was I mean my mouse. So guys, perfect. So you <laughs> think this were about you know these things that we were discussing about places. Now guys, let's move on. Okay, 
I have here this one. So guys, this is a question, okay? So let's see. The question is with how, but guys, what do you think is the correct one, much or many? Many. 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 Why is many, guys? Tell me, explain me. Many books. Porque es contable, los libros son contables. Exactly. Si se dan cuenta, books están plural, right? Many, okay, it's for plural. Exactly. Okay, let's see. Cool. Now, guys, let's see. This one, guys. So... The first one, how, what do you think, right? Can you run in an hour? How far? How far? This one, guys, yes or not? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much? Are you sure, guys? Far or much, guys? No, tal. What is no, far, guys? Tal, no sé. In the Spanish, oh. what is far? No. Far, far away, que no es como muy... Este, how much significa... Or... Okay. Como lejos. Exactly. ¿Qué tan lejos ah, puedes mm, correr, right? How mm, far can mm, you mm, run mm, in mm, an mm, hour? Okay. Mm. Now, guys. Oh, how... How... What do you think? How rich. How rich. How rich. Let's see. Uh-oh. In this case, no. What do you think is the correct answer, guys, here? How? Tall. How tall. I can put it, but yeah, it's tall. tall. How tall. And what is how tall, guys? Alto. Exactly. Now, here, guys. How? Many. 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 Yeah. Many. Okay, let's see. Uh oh. No. No. Oh, no. Tarea no se cuenta. No. So, guys, homework not. Homework not. Porque si se dan cuenta es un sustantivo. Okay, es un sustantivo que no tiene plural. Okay. So, homework. How much homework? ¿Cuánta tarea? Okay. Tienes. No oh, tareas. Okay. O so, sea, que es lo que tendremos que agarrar como sustantivo igual que el dinero. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, if you want to make it plural, guys, you can say homework. Oops, sorry. Ustedes pueden decir, guys, let's see. Homework assignments. Okay, assignments. So, así. Sorry, aquí es homework. Aquí es algo, right? Assignments. So, guys, así lo pueden Angelín, hacer. Angelín, te le comida al gato. Ah, uh, okay. So the cat, <laughs> please feed the cat. Okay, <laughs> gets interesting. Okay. So guys, I'm. Let's see. <laughs> let's continue, guys, with this one. So we have how, Adam. What do you think, guys? Oh, how tall is Adam? How tall or old? Old. old. Okay. How old? Yes, so aquí también podría ser how tall, right, guys? But in this case, it's better that. So how is that young Rich. film star? Okay. Rich. Okay, exactly, perfect. So we got it, guys. So let's see, do you have any question about this, this one, guys? Yes, no? no? A little bit? No? No, question, teacher. Yeah, okay. So now, guys, vamos a movernos, okay, other exercise that I have here for you, okay? So W equation, I'm going to help you with this one, the first one, guys. So what do you think is the correct answer here? What do you want to eat, hamburgers? Okay, what do you want to eat? Is that correct, guys, yes or not? Yes. What? Okay. Correct, guys, exactly, okay. So now, guys, it's your turn, okay? Esta es bastante fácil, okay, chicos? So, tienen que escoger cuál es la W equation, guys. Now, let me send you the link of this exercise so you can do it alone, okay, guys? So, you have the link right now, so let's start doing it, please. Okay, any... I have the question. Tell me, Tatiana. Uh, what the difference between was and were? 
Was and where? Ah, okay. Was and where? Uh, let's see. Let me stop here. So, uh, let's see. Let me share you. Okay, here so I can show you, guys. Do not worry about okay that one because you are going to see it in the future. Okay, so let's see. Let me um here I'm going to write it. So let's see, guys. The nemos okay was and where. Okay, this is in the past. So was, guys, es el verbo to be in pasado, okay? So was, vas en, en verbo to be in presente sería am e is. Y where sería are, okay? So was significa yo fui, ella fue, yo estuve, ella estuvo, él estuvo, okay? So that is, okay, how we use, okay? Lo vamos a utilizar para qué, chicos? El was va a ser para I, para he, she, and he, okay? Y where va a ser para los otros, okay? You, they, y we, okay? So eso significa was y where significan lo mismo solo que los utilizamos en diferentes sujetos, okay? Was es para singular y where en plural, okay? Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, guys, you are going to see this one, believe me, next model. Okay, ustedes van a iniciar el siguiente modelo, chicos, viendo eso. So, do not worry, okay? Now, let's see, guys. Uh, we're in this exercise. So, come on, guys. I want to see who has finished the exercise, okay? And, well, guys, uh, practically this was everything, right, in this module with the exam. So, we don't have anything, right? So, I hope everybody could pass all this one, okay? So let's see. Okay, have the first one, Christopher. Okay, four of seven, but that's cool. Perfect. What about the rest, guys? Come on. Let's see, guys. Okay. Hey guys, come on. You only have seven, okay? Seven interrogatives here, okay? About something that we have seen, the old equation, right? You only have to decide just one, okay? And see, okay? Here I have, okay, from Selma. Very cool, Selma. Seven of seven. Very nice, guys. Okay. So come on, the rest, okay? Come on. It's not complicated, right? So let me check, okay? So well, guys, let's see. Let me stop sharing here. So guys, um, well, we are going to stop here, guys, okay? So because that was the last exercise that I have, okay, for you tonight, okay? So guys, do not worry, okay? Because next model, you are going to see, okay, more topics, okay? And you are going to learn more. But remember, guys, keep practicing everything that you have seen, okay? Continúen practicando, okay, todo lo que hemos estado viendo, okay, guys? Because it's very important. So, guys, um, well, esta fue la, the last class, right, guys? Fue la última clase del día de hora. So, espero que hayan podido aprender algo, guys. That's excellent. And que se hayan podido inscribir, okay, en el siguiente módulo y hayan pasado todo, right, guys? So, well, uh, you know, guys, it was nice to be your teacher in this, you know, module. So, tal vez nos vemos en, en otros módulos, guys. So, les deseo buena suerte, okay? So good night, Thank everybody, you, and take care, okay? Thank you for all. Thank you, guys. So Thank goodbye, you, guys. Bye. Thank you, Thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Take Bye. care. Bye-bye.